Caillou loves spending the day with his grandma. He especially loved looking for treasures in her attic. Oh. <laughs> Grandma, look! I'm a magician! Abracadabra! Let me fix this up for you. Caillou was excited about being a magician. He wanted to do really amazing things. You look very dashing. How about practicing your magic outside while I do my yard work? Okay. This is certainly making a mess on the lawn. Abracadabra! They disappeared! Hooray! They certainly have. Abracadabra! Flowers grow! I think this kind of magic doesn't happen right away. Plant magic takes a long time. Do you think you could make a lunch disappear? Yes. Grandma, would you like a banana? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Abracadabra! <gasps> it disappeared! What a good trick. I know another one. I'm going to turn this soup into mush. Abracadabra! Bravo! Caillou knew lots of little magic tricks, but he wanted to come up with something really amazing to show everyone. I'll throw this in the garbage for you, Grandma. Uh-uh. That's not garbage. But it's all gushy and yucky. I need it for my garden. Your garden? Come on, I'll show you. Is that a garbage can? No, it's a composter. I put in food scraps, like fruit and vegetables, and breadcrumbs and eggshells. But no meat and no dairy. That means no cheese or milk. I throw in grass clippings, too, and a little water. It must be really yucky in there. Ah, but that's the surprising thing. Inside this composter, all the messy, gooey stuff turns into something totally different. Like a magic trick? <laughs> yes, it is rather like a magic trick. Would you like to see what it turns into? Yes, please. It's dirt. All those things turn into dirt? It's not dirt. It's called compost, and it takes weeks and weeks to happen. A composter makes compost. That's right. Compost is nice, rich soil that helps my plants to grow. It's like plant food. Wow! And by putting food scraps into my composter, I'm sending less garbage to the garbage dump. That is the best magic trick ever! <laughs> it sure is. Caillou couldn't wait to try this magic trick out himself. Caillou, what are you up to? I'm going to show you the best magic trick ever. Potato skins, bread crust, corn, but no cheese. That's dairy. <laughs> Nessie! What kind of magic trick is this, Caillou? I'm going to change all of this yucky stuff into plant food. Oh, we need to get a composter to do this trick. Hmm, I'm not sure why, but okay, Caillou.
worked very hard for weeks and weeks, but everything looked just the same. He was starting to think his magic trick wouldn't work at all. You're doing wonderfully, Caillou. Just remember, plant magic takes a long time. Better give it one more month. Okay. Caillou waited for a whole month. It seemed like days and days, 30 days to be exact. Yeah! But the wait was finally over. Come on, everybody! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Caillou was very excited to show everyone his big magic trick. But he was a little worried, too. What if it didn't work? It's time for the best magic trick ever! Turning food and grass and leaves and water into compost! That's plant food. Abracadabra compost! Caillou hoped he wouldn't find just gooey food in there. Ta-da! How wonderful! Hooray for Caillou the Amazing! I didn't really do anything. Sure you did, Caillou. You worked especially hard to make this trick work. You really are Caillou the Amazing. For my next trick, I'm going to use my new compost to grow flowers. Caillou felt proud. It had taken a long time to perfect his plant magic. But it was worth it. Rosie were having lots of fun playing with their balloon. <laughs> I'll get it, Rosie. <laughs> Mommy, what are Daddy and that workman doing to our tree? Daddy and Mr. McFarlane are cutting it down, Caillou. Cutting it down? But I like that tree. Tweet? I like that tree, too. But remember when we had that big storm? I'm afraid our tree was damaged when it was struck by lightning. Caillou did remember. The thunder was very loud, and the lightning made the sky very bright. Now the tree needs to be cut down so it won't fall and damage the house. But what are they going to do with the tree? Well, we'll use some of it for firewood. But where are all the birds and squirrels going to live? Caillou was upset. He didn't want to see the old tree come down. Rosie, on the other hand, thought this was all very interesting. <laughs> tree fell down! Phew! That was good exercise. Why the long face, Caillou? Caillou was feeling a little sad about the old tree. Oh, I see. I know what'll cheer you up. I'm going somewhere special today. And you can come with me while Rosie has her nap. Caillou liked the idea of going somewhere special with Daddy. Can Rexy come too? Sure. I don't see why not. Rawr! <laughs> We're almost there, Caillou. The tree farm is just around the corner. Tree farm? I didn't know we were going to a tree farm. <laughs> I didn't even know there were farms for trees. Yes, it's kind of like the nursery where Mommy buys her plants, only they grow many big trees there. Are we getting a new tree, Daddy? We'll see. Here we are. Caillou was surprised to see so many trees. There were trees in every size, shape, and color. <laughs> Now it really feels like we're in a jungle, Rexy. Can I help pick out a tree, Daddy? Of course. Come with me. What kind of tree are we gonna get, Daddy? Hmm, well, perhaps one that provides some shade in the summer, so we'll have somewhere cool to sit. Can we get one that the birds and squirrels will like? Sure, trees make great homes for wildlife, and they help clean the air that we breathe. What do you think about this one? It has an interesting shape.
Caillou wasn't sure this was the right tree for their yard. What do you think, Rexy? Rexy and I think it's too small. Hmm, okay, something bigger. How about this one? It's an oak, another kind of deciduous tree. Deciduous? A deciduous tree has broad leaves like this one. They'll fall off in the fall and grow back in the spring. It'll lose a lot of leaves, Daddy, because it's a big, big tree. Hmm, that's true. Maybe we should find something a little smaller. This one's a paper birch. See how the bark around the tree looks a little like paper? Do you like it? It's too papery. Daddy showed Caillou many, many trees, but none of them seemed right to Caillou. How about one of these, Caillou? This is the one, Daddy. This is the one. A maple tree, just like our old one. It's perfect. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to take this tree, please. That's great. I'll be right over. I like your drawing, Rosie. Oh, look, Rosie. Daddy and Caillou are back. And they brought something special home with them. Ugh. Look, Rosie, our new tree. Where are we going to plant it, Daddy? We'll find a nice spot for it in the backyard. We've already got the shovels ready and the wagon. What do you need my wagon for? We're going to give the tree a ride to the backyard so we don't have to carry it. It's very heavy. Caillou liked the idea of giving the tree another ride. This will be the second wagon ride for our tree. First in our car and now in my wagon. I think this is a good spot. The tree will have plenty of room to grow here. Can I help you dig? Dig! Rosie, too! <laughs> okay, but I have to warn you, digging is hard work. We like hard work, don't we, Rosie? Rosie, dig! <laughs> Arr, mateys, let's dig then, and maybe we'll find buried treasure in these parts. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Digging is hard work. It sure is. But we're ready. Now we need to fill the hole with soil. Caillou, Rosie, you can help bring the soil over here. Caillou liked the sound of that. He and Rosie loved playing in dirt. Look, Rosie, I'm a truck. There. So, what do you think, Caillou? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. With a little water and sunshine, this tree should grow up big and strong. Like Rosie and me. That's right, Caillou. You'll all grow up together. Caillou suddenly noticed he wasn't the only one who liked their new tree. Look, birdies. They like our new tree, too. The birds couldn't agree more. Caillou's new tree was a wonderful addition to the yard. Caillou was always learning interesting things at preschool. Today he was learning about water. Water falls from the sky as rain. But where does it go after that? It waters plants and flowers and trees. Right. The rain sinks into the ground it waters plants, just like Caillou said, and eventually runs back into lakes and rivers. Then it evaporates and rises up where it collects in clouds and gets ready to... Fall down like rain again. Right. Wow. What do we use water for? Drinking. Taking baths. Brushing our teeth. And washing dishes. Yes. We use a lot of water every day, but it's important that we try to use less water so that there will be enough for all those who need it. People and animals and even plants. Caillou really wanted to try to use less water at home. 
but he wasn't sure how to do that. Miss Martin, how can I use less water? We're going to talk about that on Monday. Why don't you think about it over the weekend and see what ideas you can come up with? Okay, I will. Bye. Bye, Caillou. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Rosie, good job. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm just washing the lettuce. No, Daddy, don't. No, Daddy. <laughs> Miss Martin says we should use less water. Well, she is right about that. No, Mommy. Don't turn on the water. What? We're saving water. No, Mommy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Gilbert. No water. <laughs> Go ahead, Gilbert. You can have a drink. Gilbert is thirsty, Rosie. Sorry, Gilbert. I've got to wash the lettuce so we can eat it. I think you're going to have to think of another way to save water. Okay. Thinking of ways to save water was harder than Caillou thought it would be. I'm going to save water by not taking any more baths. I know you're trying to do a good thing, Caillou, but you still have to take your bath. Maybe I could stop brushing my teeth. <laughs> no, but we could save water by not filling the bathtub as much and by turning off the tap while we brush our teeth. Mommy, the tap is dripping. So it is. Thank you for telling me. You know, we can also save water by fixing that leaking tap. Not very much water. It's just dripping a teeny tiny bit. It's not such a tiny bit when you add up all those drops. I've got an idea. Why don't we collect the drips overnight and see how much water a dripping tap wastes? It'll be an experiment. Yeah, okay. The next morning, Caillou was very excited to see how much water was in the bucket. Whoa! Mommy, the bucket is full! And that's not all. I emptied it two times during the night into this bigger bucket. The tap dripped all that water? Wow, that's a lot! All that water would have just dripped down the drain and been lost. So by fixing this little leak, we can save that much water. Which we can use for washing the floor, or the windows, or filling Gilbert's water dish. Maybe our other taps are leaking too. I'm going to check and see. Hmm. Caillou, come inside. I think the sky is leaking. Caillou thought Daddy was right. The clouds were dripping water just like the leaky bathroom tap. Then Caillou had a wonderful idea. What are you up to, Caillou? I'm saving water. Lots of water. Oh, Gilbert. Caillou! What a clever idea that was. Wow! Look, Rosie. Ooh! I collected lots and lots of water. So, can I use this water to water my plants? Mm-hmm. And can I have all my pots and pans back? <laughs> yeah. You know, Caillou, instead of using pots and pans, we could get a really big barrel to collect rain in. Daddy and 
I went and bought a rain barrel just like this. We put it in the backyard, and the next time it rains, the barrel will fill right up with rainwater. That's wonderful, Caillou. What a very smart idea. Daddy says we can use the rainwater to water our garden and fill our wading pool and the bird bath, too. Wait a minute. Miss Martin, the tap is leaking. We need to fix it because it's wasting water. Why, Caillou, you're right. We'll have to get that fixed right away. Thank you. Caillou was very proud of his ideas for saving water. Every little drop adds up. Caillou looked everywhere, but he couldn't find his special shirt. Whoa! Caillou, I spent a long time putting those clothes away. But, Mommy, I need my art shirt for school today. We're doing paper mache. You mean that shirt? You found it! I laid it out for you last night, Caillou. You can tidy up later. Now, hurry up or you won't have time to eat the special breakfast I made for you. <sighs> Rosie had been up all night with a bad cough and the sniffles. <coughs> And that meant Mommy had been up all night, too. <sighs> oh, these pancakes should make you feel better, Rosie. Fun! Mmm! <laughs> what should I make with paper mache, Mommy? Maybe a lion or a dragon. How about a dinosaur? Mommy was sure Caillou would like his special dinosaur pancake. But Caillou barely even noticed. Yeah, maybe a dinosaur. Or maybe a... Bunny! <coughs> no, Rosie. I don't want to make a bunny. Uh... Oh, poor Rosie. I wish I could make you feel better. What are you going to make, Caillou? I was going to make a dinosaur, but I changed my mind. Now I'm going to make a bunny for Rosie. She's sick. Can I make a dinosaur? Sure. <laughs> Goopy. <laughs> That's it. Take the newspaper strips, dip them in the glue, and then stick them to your balloon. <laughs> Ew, yuck! Caillou began working very hard on his paper mache bunny. He knew Rosie was going to love it. everyone. We'll let the paper mache dry overnight, and tomorrow we'll all paint our animals. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm catching Rosie's cold. Ready for bed, Caillou? Uh-huh. And all my clothes are picked up, Mommy. I guess they are. Caillou was so excited about his bunny, he didn't notice how tired Mommy was. Wait till you see it, Mommy. I gave Rosie's bunny long ears, and I made whiskers with pipe cleaners. It sounds wonderful, Caillou. I hope Rosie likes it. Oh, dear. Look at your art shirt. Can you clean it so I can wear it again tomorrow, Mommy? Please? I'm going to paint Rosie's bunny. Okay. I'll see what I can do. If you promise not to throw your clothes on the floor again. <laughs> I promise. 
promise. Rosie better? Mommy, where's my art shirt? It's right here. What do you say? <laughs> I stayed up late last night to wash it. Thank you. <laughs> What a wonderful blue bunny, Caillou. It's for my sister, Rosie. Well, I'm sure she's going to love it. Caillou felt proud. He couldn't wait to bring his bunny home to Rosie. Yeah! I think someone is almost better. Awesome. Oh, that sounds like your big brother. was excited to show Rosie his surprise. Look what I made for you, a bunny. Can you play puzzle? Caillou was disappointed. Rosie barely even looked at her bunny. Look, Rosie, it's a bunny. Hi, Rosie, I'm a bunny. I like eating carrots. Yum, yum. No, puzzle. <laughs> but Rosie, see, he has whiskers and I painted him blue. You like blue. <laughs> Funny money. What's wrong, Caillou? You look a little down. I worked hard on Rosie's bunny, and she didn't like it. People don't always realize how hard we work to make them happy. Why don't you help me with dinner? You can wash the carrots while I peel the potatoes. Okay. All done. Good job, Caillou. Now, you can mash these boiled potatoes. Making dinner is hard work, Mommy. It sure is. It's also work to pick up clothes and wash a favorite shirt for a certain someone. Caillou never realized how hard Mommy worked to make him happy. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, Caillou. And by the way, I think Bunny is beautiful. Where are you going? I'm gonna be a good little bunny and put away my clothes before dinner. <laughs> this was Caillou's way of saying thank you, Mommy, for all her hard work. Caillou's family loved going for bike rides, and they took very good care of their bikes. Especially Caillou. Rosie Wash? No thanks, I like doing it. Don't wash that. Oh, now my head's gonna get all wet. I think Rosie really wants to help. Isn't there something she could do? Um... You can wash the handlebars. Just be careful. Good! I'll get another towel. It. Rosie, sorry. She didn't mean to, Caillou. But Caillou was too upset to listen. All he knew was that Rosie had scratched one of his favorite things, and he didn't want it to happen again. So he decided to take back everything he had let Rosie play with. Back 
all my toys. They'll be safer in my room. Hey, that's my tambourine. There. Now Rosie won't even know where they are. Nana? <sighs> no thanks. And from now on, you have to knock first. My room is private property. <sighs> Why don't you go play in the playroom? Okay. She'll never remember to knock. <laughs> now she can't sneak in. Caillou felt better, knowing that all his toys were safe from Rosie. Then he remembered something. <gasps> I have toys in the playroom, too! What's that? It's tape. I'm splitting the playroom in half. From now on, this is my side. And that's yours. I won't touch your stuff if you don't touch mine, okay? Okay. Ooh, thicker. Can you take? You're giving me this? But it's your best sticker. Thanks, but you should really keep it for your sticker book. Oops, I'm out of tape. I'd better get more. Flashlight, garbage bags, tape. Caillou, there's something a little different about my guitar. Is there anything you want to tell me? I broke it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I tried to fix it. <laughs> yes, I noticed. It's all right, Caillou. Just let me do the fixing next time, okay? Okay, but aren't you mad? No, accidents happen. When Rosie scratched my bike, I felt really mad. How do you think Rosie felt? She probably felt really sorry. I think so, too. So, would you like to learn how to change a guitar string? Yes, but can we do it later? I have to do something. Sure, Caillou. Mine! I know, I won't take it. Rosie, I'm sorry I was grouchy about my bike. Accidents happen to everybody. Even me. So, you can still play with my toys, okay? Okay. Do you want to play with my tambourine? Tambourine, tambourine! I think that's a yes. And if you still want to give me that sticker, I thought of a really good place for it. Okay. All gone. That looks great. It sure does. So, who feels like a family bike ride? Me! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and Rosie were happy again. They had learned how to forgive one another. Rosie was having a wonderful tea party in her room when she heard 
giggling. <laughs> Rosie had no idea why Caillou and Andre were laughing, but she wanted to know so she could laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen to this one. <gasps> <laughs> okay, me next, me next. <laughs> that was even louder than mine. <laughs> Funny noise. Caillou and Andre thought Rosie was going to ruin their fun. Come on, Rosie. This is big kid stuff. You go back to your room and... <gasps> <laughs> That was the best raspberry ever! I never knew you were so funny, Rosie. I'll get it. It's probably our dinner guests. Just in time, too. Caillou, Rosie, time for dinner. Wow, that was fast. You must really be hungry. I'm setting the table, sweetheart. What would you like to drink with your dinner? Milk or apple juice? <gasps> <laughs> Grandpa and Grandma are here. Are you kids looking forward to having dinner with them tonight? <laughs> Although Caillou thought Rosie's raspberries were very funny, Mommy and Daddy did not agree. Mm-hmm. Seems like the kids have learned something new today. Yep, and I'm not sure I like it. Grandpa, Grandma! Grandma, Grandpa! <laughs> Hello there! We've been looking forward to seeing you. So, did you kids have a nice day? <gasps> uh, so you didn't have a good day? <laughs> we had a great day. Andre and I showed Rosie how to blow raspberries. <gasps> <laughs> See? Mm. Children, there will be no more raspberries at the dinner table, thank you. It's not proper. <laughs> that night, Caillou was still giggling, thinking about Rosie's raspberries. Good night, sweetheart. Love you. <laughs> Caillou, I think we need to have a talk. Blowing raspberries can be fun, but sometimes it's inappropriate. Inappropriate? Inappropriate. That means it's not how we'd like you and Rosie to behave. It seems to me you're encouraging your sister. But raspberries are funny. Doesn't that make it okay? There's a time and a place for everything, honey. Even funny stuff. Blowing raspberries is fine when it's just silly fun between friends or brothers and sisters. But most other times, it's impolite to make rude sounds, like raspberries. Do you understand? <sighs> okay, kiddo. Time for bed. Don't forget, tomorrow's the big open house at your preschool. Open house. Right. <sighs> Good night. Caillou was very excited to show his family around his preschool. Come on, over here! Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. We're just about to showcase some of our students' artwork. Isn't that right, Caillou? Uh-huh. I made a special painting. Me too. Hi, Leo. Welcome to our preschool's open house. You're welcome to take a look around the classroom, but before you do... I'd like to show you some of the artwork the children have been working on. Oh, wow. nice. Oh, my. Ooh. Caillou was so very proud to see his painting on the wall. He couldn't wait to show it off. That one's mine, right there. Ooh, wow. It's beautiful, Caillou. I love it. What do you think of your brother's painting, Rosie? <gasps> oh, my. <laughs> that was funny. 
<laughs> not everyone found Rosie's raspberry funny, especially not Caillou. Not this time. Sweetheart, we're sorry for laughing, but we weren't laughing at you or your painting. Nope, just Rosie's raspberry. We thought your painting was terrific. Nobody even got to see my painting. They were too busy laughing. <sighs> you were right. Sometimes raspberries are inappropriate. I have to talk with Rosie. <gasps> Rosie, you have to stop blowing raspberries. Sometimes they're rude. You hurt my feelings tonight. <laughs> I'm not mad. Just don't blow raspberries anymore, okay? No more? No more funny noise? No more noise. Well... Maybe sometimes, when it's just you and me acting silly, okay? <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, come on, Rosie, let's go play. Caillou had realized there was a time and place for everything, <laughs> even blowing raspberries. His daddy were having fun building a model solar system together. Do we have all the planets, Daddy? Hmm. Mercury? Venus? Earth? Mars? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Yes, we have them all. Daddy! Rosie hungry! Okay, Rosie. I'll get you a snack. What that, Caillou? We're building a solar system for show and tell. It's a model showing all of the planets, Rosie. The planets that are way up in the sky, like the stars. This is our planet, Earth. Rosie wasn't very interested in the planets or solar systems. She was more interested in the bright round balls on the table. <laughs> Ball bouncy! Rosie! Come back here! No, Rosie. These balls are mine for my model. They're Caillou's, Rosie. I'm sure you can find something else to play with. <laughs> we can't have any planets missing from the solar system now, can we? What would you like for a snack, Rosie? Maybe some cheese and crackers? Mmm. There we go. Thank you. Mars? Then Earth? What about you, Caillou? Would you like a snack? Yes, please. I'm hungry. I guess so. It's hard work building the universe. Thanks. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, one of my planets is missing. Rosie, where is Mars? Rosie had no idea what Caillou was talking about. She didn't know anything about the planets. You know, the little red ball? Where is it? Rosie, no, no. I know you took it, Rosie. Give it back. Rosie, do you have Caillou's little red ball? <laughs> yes, she does. It's probably in her pocket. That's my car. That's my keychain. <laughs> you sure carry a lot in your pockets, Rosie. Are you sure that's everything? No ball? No ball. But I know she has it, Daddy. Rosie is always taking my stuff. It's probably in her room. Caillou thought he saw something underneath Rosie's bed. Dust bunnies. Ah! 
Oh, it must be somewhere. Caillou really wanted to find his ball. He wanted his model to be perfect for show and tell. I can't show off my solar system without Mars. Daddy even said so. We can't have any planets missing from the solar system now, can we? It's got to be here somewhere. Caillou knew that little red planets didn't just disappear into space. I know. It's probably in the living room. How's it going, Caillou? Any luck finding Mars? No, my model is ruined. Couldn't you use something else for Mars, Caillou? Like what? I don't have another red ball. This is all Rosie's fault. I know you're upset, Caillou, but blaming Rosie isn't going to help. And it isn't going to solve your problem. Hmm, what if you color a white ball red? with one of your markers. Caillou thought about this for a moment. He really wanted to bring his model to show and tell. I guess it could work. Caillou's new planet wasn't quite as nice as his first one, but he was pleased nonetheless. So, what do you think? I think it's great, Caillou. It's sure to be a big hit at preschool. Miss Martin will love it. Yeah, it is pretty good. Patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> Caillou noticed something moving underneath the curtains. He wondered what it was. Gilbert? <laughs> My ball! Caillou suddenly felt terrible. All this time, he had been blaming Patty, Rosie. Patty and it was Gilbert who ran off with Mars. Bouncy ball! Yes, Rosie. Bouncy ball. It was Gilbert who took it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. Are you mad at me? Rosie, help me! Well, I'm glad to see you two making up. And now that you have your ball back, Caillou, you can attach it to your model. No, I have a better idea. I want Rosie to have it. Here, Rosie. <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. Rosie was pleased with the ball, and Caillou was pleased too. He had said, sorry, and he and Rosie were friends again. enjoying painting a picture when... Mmm, snack time! Emma? It's not snack time yet, Caillou. You still have time to finish your artwork. But Emma's eating her snack. Emma has permission to eat extra snacks throughout the day. Extra snacks? Caillou didn't think it was very fair that Emma got to eat snacks when he didn't. I have diabetes. What's that? That's a good question, Caillou. I think it's time to explain it to the entire class. Children, gather around for a moment, please. Emma's parents have asked that Emma and I share something with you. Emma recently found out that she has type 1 diabetes, or juvenile diabetes. It's a kind of illness that some children get. Illness? Oh, oh, no! Now, you don't have to worry about getting diabetes from Emma. It isn't contagious, like a flu. 
You can't catch it from others. What is diabetes? Well, everyone has sugar in their blood. But sometimes Emma's blood doesn't have the right amount of sugar. So Emma measures the sugar in her blood with this machine. She takes medicine, and sometimes she needs to eat extra snacks. It's so I don't feel dizzy or tired. Right. Now, any more questions? Can we have extra snacks, too? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Jay. But we'll have group snack time in a little while. Right now, you can all go back to what you were doing. Miss Martin made everything sound fine. But Caillou didn't feel fine. He was worried about his friend, Emma. Oh, Emma, you forgot your sweater. But I don't want it. But you might catch cold. Yeah! <laughs> you should wear it, just in case. Um, okay, thanks. Space Captain to co-pilot, are you ready to land? Ready, Captain! There's Planet Mars! Let's go! Hey, where are you going? The planet's this way. Are you dizzy, Emma? Maybe you should come down. Uh, I'm fine. I'm pretending the slide is a big mountain. Oh, well, I can hold your hand when you come down the slide. No thanks. I can go by myself. Woo! That night, Caillou was still worried about his friend. Mommy? Did you know that Emma is sick? No, I didn't know that. I'm sure she'll feel better in a few days. But why don't you make her a get well card? Okay. Hi, Emma. I can carry your bag for you. No, that's okay, Caillou. But you shouldn't be carrying anything heavy. Let me. Um, thanks. You can carry mine, Caillou. And mine, too. Hey, thanks, Caillou. Whoa, whoa. Here, Emma. I made this for you. But it's not my birthday. <laughs> I know that. It's a card to make you feel better. Thanks, but I feel fine. Oh, well, that's great. Caillou was very pleased. He thought since Emma was feeling fine, she must be all better. Now, arms up, reach high up to the sky on your tippy toes. Good job, Emma. It's time for your snack. Caillou was confused. Emma had said she was fine. So why did she still need to have extra snacks? Okay, children, now down, down, and touch your toes. Emma must still be sick. It was lunchtime, and Caillou was once again feeling a little worried about Emma. Do you want my chicken noodle soup? No, thanks. I have my own lunch. Caillou was disappointed. Chicken noodle soup always made him feel better. Okay, class. Just a quick reminder. After lunch, we're going to have our track and field afternoon. Yay! Yay! Fun! Track and field! Yay! <laughs> okay, you two. Are you ready to race? Caillou didn't want to race against Emma, knowing she wasn't feeling well. I'll win for sure. And that'll make Emma feel even worse. You should run real slow. Okay, kids. Caillou had vowed to run very slowly until he saw Emma speeding across the grass. Emma, wait up! Hooray! It's a tie! You sure don't act sick. Sick? I'm not sick. But you've got type 1 diabetes. 
something. Type 1 diabetes. It's not like a cold or flu, Caillou. It's just something I have to live with. Every day? Uh-huh. Every day. See this pump? It gives me my medicine so I feel well. I check my blood sugar level a lot. And the snacks help so I don't feel dizzy. As Emma talked about all the things she does to take care of herself, Caillou began to feel a lot less worried. Do you feel dizzy now, Emma? No. Then I'll race you again! <laughs> okay. Caillou was happy that Emma could still do fun things. She had to live with an illness, but she could still live a full and energetic life. Caillou was having a very busy morning. Mummy had lots of things on her to-do list today. And Caillou and Rosie were helping. After they put away the groceries, they did the laundry. Thank you so much for helping, Caillou. What else is on your to-do list? The next item on my list is... Running through the sprinkler! Yay! after lunch. Now, where is that pot holder? I'm sure I had it. Ah, come wash your hands. Finished! Someone's got a milk mustache. <laughs> puppy! Where's Dingo Puppy? It was just by your chair, wasn't it, honey? Where did it go? Everything's disappearing. My sock, the pot holder, Rosie's puppy. You're right, Caillou. It's very strange. I can hear Rosie's dingle puppy. <gasps> puppy? Shh, Rosie. Listen. Under the couch. Is Dingle Pup walking around on his own? No! <coughs> Gilbert took him! And the pot holder! And my sock! <laughs> Puppy! So that's where everything's been disappearing to. You've gotten your claws into them, haven't you? He sure likes scratching things. No, Gilbert, shoo! Ow. Okay, who wants to go to the playground? Me! Let's find you a new pair of socks before we go, Caillou. Let's go, Mommy. I need to find my house keys first. Gilbert, did you take my keys? Something tells me you did. Not under here. Where did you put them? I don't think Gilbert took your keys, Mommy. No? He took the sock and the pot holder and Dingle Puppy because they're all soft and he can scratch them with his claws. Your keys aren't soft. That's very good thinking, Caillou. You may be right. But then, where are my keys? 
I know how to find lost things. You have to go backwards and look in every place you went to. That sounds like a good plan. Can you show me how? The last thing we did was have lunch. Follow me. <laughs> Rosie, go backwards. Now we look. Not here. No. So where were we before lunch? Outside. Come on. <laughs> Are my keys in there, Rosie? No. They're not out here. Where to now, Caillou? Before this, we were in the laundry room, taking the clothes out of the washer. Why, that's right. Follow me. No keys. Nope, not here. Before this, we were in the kitchen, putting the food away. But we already looked there. Before that, we brought the groceries inside. No keys here. I know I had them when we came in because I used them to open the door. I still think Gilbert took them. Oh, Gilbert! Oh, Gilbert! I know you didn't take them. Caillou decided to keep going backward and look in the very last place Mummy had her keys. Mommy, <gasps> Mommy! I found them! I found them! I left them in the door. Oh, what a silly thing to do. Oh, Gilbert, you didn't take my keys after all. I'm sorry. Mommy, can we give Gilbert my old sock to keep so we can scratch it all up? He really likes doing that. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> You're welcome. Pig out now? Yes. And off we go. <laughs> Caillou had done a terrific job helping Mommy find her keys. And Gilbert wasn't to blame. This time... Hooray! Caillou and Rosie were in a cheering mood. It was fun jumping for joy and being silly together. Hooray! It's Daddy! Hooray! Daddy! Where were you, Daddy? You're missing our hoorays! <laughs> Sorry, kids. I went for a run. I'm training for a marathon. Hooray! A marathon! A marathon! Hooray! What's a marathon? A marathon is kind of a long race. A race? Oh, I like races. I want to run a marathon, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Caillou. Marathons are for grown-ups. The runners have to run for a very long time, for a far distance. I can do that. Oh, I don't think so, Caillou. Please, Daddy, can I just go running with you, please? Well, I guess I could go for another run around the block today. Hooray! Can we run? Not yet. It's important to stretch properly. We've just begun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't see you there. 
now can we go? Yes. Now we can go. I'm going to run really far, Daddy. Caillou thought that if he showed Daddy how far he could run, he would let Caillou run in the marathon. Our Caillou's quite the little runner, isn't he, Mrs. Howard? <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Howard, I'm a big runner. Caillou wondered where that mailbox came from. It seemed to pop out of nowhere. You should always watch where you're going, Caillou. <coughs> Whoops! Sorry, didn't see you there. <laughs> I guess I should watch where I'm going, too. See you later. Caillou was beginning to feel tired. But he didn't want to stop running. <sighs> he wanted to prove that he could run in a marathon. Dog, doesn't he know I'm trying to run here? <laughs> Caillou's legs were beginning to feel very tired. He wondered how much farther he could run. Whoa! <laughs> Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay. <sighs> but how am I supposed to run a marathon if I can't even make it around the block? It takes a lot of training and practice to prepare for a marathon, Caillou. So if I practice, I'll be able to run a marathon? Well, maybe one day. The more you practice, the farther you'll be able to run. But for now, let's walk home and have some lunch, shall we? <laughs> Running sure takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? Well, you're sure to have lots of energy now. Yes, I'm ready to go running again. Again? Uh-huh. I can't wait to show you how much farther I can run this time. Okay, Caillou. Caillou and Daddy had gone out for another run. But Caillou was disappointed. He still couldn't run very far. <sighs> I'll never be able to run a marathon. I wouldn't say that, Caillou. I think you did well this time. You did run farther. Yeah, but not far enough. I want to be able to run like you, Daddy. But, Caillou, I can run farther because I'm a grown-up. My muscles are much bigger and I've had more time to practice. I know. I just think it'd be fun. Hmm. Do you know what else would be fun? What? Last one to the house is a rotten egg. <laughs> ready, Rosie? Rosie, ready. Good catch, Rosie. Rosie went too? Sure, Rosie. What do you say? We all run to Mrs. Howard's house and back. Okay, that's easy. Come on, Rosie. Hold up, Caillou. Let's wait for your sister. Caillou had forgotten Rosie couldn't run very fast or very far. Hey, Rosie can't run like me. Just like I can't run like you. That's right. Everybody has their own skill level. You know, I don't think I want to run a marathon just yet, Daddy. You don't? No, I can wait till I'm a grown-up. I just wish there was one for kids. You know, I think that could be arranged. How about a mini-marathon in the backyard? A mini-marathon! Yeah! yeah! Hooray, Caillou! Here you go, Rosie! Yay! We did it, yeah! Rosie! We finished the race! Hooray, a marathon! Hooray! Marathon! Marathon! A mini-marathon was just the right size. And Caillou and Rosie were thrilled to finish the race. Hooray! <laughs> Caillou was excited because Grandpa and Daddy were taking him on a real sailboat. Maybe we'll see whales in the water. Or 
sea monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I guess anything's possible. Caillou, I'm glad you're excited. But before we do anything, we need to put on our life jackets. But we're not even sailing yet. Safety first. Now we go sailing. Not quite yet, Caillou. On a boat, everyone has a job to do. Today, I'm not just Grandpa. I'm the captain, so I'm in charge. And Daddy isn't just Daddy, he's my special helper, which means he's the first mate. And what am I? You're the lookout. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. Lookout didn't seem nearly as important as being captain or first mate. But I want to be captain. Sorry, Caillou. Grandpa has sailed more than we have. That's why he gets to be captain. Now, come and give us a hand. Ah, oh, there's nothing like being out in fresh air. Hoist the sails! Aye, aye, Captain. Caillou, help me turn the crank. Aye, aye, Daddy. I mean, first mate. That's my good sailor. Now sit on your lookout chair and hang on. Caillou had wanted to help hoist the sail with Daddy and Grandpa. had a better idea. Ahoy, mates! I'm the captain now, and I order you to go that way. <laughs> it takes more than a cap to make a captain, Caillou. It takes a lot of experience, too. Hmm, it's not fair. Well then, I guess you don't want to help me steer the boat. Yes, I do. That's it. Nice and steady. You see, Grandpa? I could be the captain. One day, when you've learned how to sail, you'll be captain. But first, you need to learn how to be a good lookout. Caillou watched first mate Daddy turn the sails. And that gave him another idea. Daddy, I know a job that looks almost as fun as being captain. You do? What's that, Caillou? First mate, we could trade jobs. Sorry, Caillou. First mate is a grown-up job. It takes a lot of experience. You can have my shiny shell and lucky rock and all my dessert for a week. Caillou, lookout is much too important a job to trade away. Lookout doesn't feel like an important job. It doesn't? Well, that's because you haven't received your extra special orders yet. You have to help us find our way to Treasure Cove. Treasure Cove? That's right. We need our lookout to spot each of these landmarks with these binoculars. Did you know my granddad gave these to me when I was your age? <laughs> Did you think I was a sea monster? <laughs> no, just a daddy from the sea. Now, the first thing you need to find is a boy. It's like a signpost floating in the water. Okay. Caillou was a little frustrated. He looked and looked out at the lake, but all he saw was water and waves. Oh, this is boring. Well done. 
Now, you need to look for the little island with a rock and tree on it. Aye, aye, first mate, Daddy. Look, look, it's the island. I found it. There she blows. Adjust course, first mate. Aye, aye, Captain. Caillou was beginning to enjoy his job as lookout. Now all he had to find was the cove with the dock. See anything yet, Caillou? Not yet, Captain. That's strange. We should have found it by now. I'll take a look. No, Grandpa. I'm the lookout, and the lookout uses the binoculars. He does have a point. Okay, Caillou. I found it! There's the dock! Good spotting, Caillou! First mate, prepare to come ashore in Treasure Cove. Aye, aye, Captain. Well done, Lookout Caillou. Without your help, we might have missed Treasure Cove. Thanks. Is there really a treasure here? There sure is. Our picnic lunch. It was prepared by First Mate Daddy, so it's sure to be yummy. <laughs> What's this? It's our ship's logbook. See, here I am when I was lookout. And that's your daddy when he was lookout. And now your picture will go in the logbook too, Caillou. You mean lookout, Caillou. Caillou was now proud to be lookout. He had learned that every job is important. It was very early in the morning, and both Caillou and Gilbert were happily dreaming until... Wakey, Caillou! Wakey! Caillou wasn't finished dreaming yet. <laughs> peek -boo. What is it, Rosie? Look! Rosie glowed! <laughs> wow, Rosie! You grew right through your pajamas! <laughs> I bet I grew too! Come on, Rosie! Let's tell Mommy and Daddy! Rosie found it funny to watch Mommy and Daddy sleeping, but Caillou wasn't sure if they should wake them up. Gilbert, shh! <laughs> Gilbert! <sighs> Good morning, my little early birds. Rosie glowed! Gilbert, cut it out. Shoo! <laughs> I think I grew too. Can we check and see, Mommy? Please? All right, but let's let Daddy sleep in a little longer, okay? Gilbert, however, had no intention of letting Daddy sleep in any longer. Okay, Rosie, you first. Stand still. Wow, Rosie, you have grown. You just had a growth spurt. That means you grew very quickly. My turn, Mommy. Caillou hoped he had grown just as much as Rosie. The pencil line is at the same place? I didn't grow at all? Caillou was very disappointed. He hadn't grown even a little bit. And he began to worry that Rosie would grow taller than he was. Don't worry, sweetie. You'll have a growth spurt soon. You'll see. Daddy, how can I have a growth spurt like Rosie? I want to grow bigger. A growth spurt, hmm? Well, it helps if you get plenty of sleep and exercise, and you do your best to eat well. I got lots of exercise at the park yesterday, but I didn't grow like Rosie did. How do people eat well? They eat healthy foods, like lots of fruits and vegetables. Oh, and we can't forget about milk for healthy bones. Caillou really wanted to grow bigger, so he thought he'd take Daddy's advice. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for now. Any more and you'll be swimming in milk. What are you doing, Caillou? I'm exercising. If I stretch my arms and legs, 
I'll grow bigger. <laughs> well, why don't you stretch yourself into the hallway and put on your shoes? We're going to the grocery store. Attention, clean up an aisle two, please. Well, hello there. Haven't seen you in a while. Rosie growed! Why, yes, you have. You're getting to be such a big girl. Caillou was waiting for Ted to tell him that he'd grown too. Hi, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Are you enjoying preschool? Uh-huh. Caillou was disappointed. Ted didn't say that he was a big boy. Well, have fun shopping. Up you go. Oh, my. You really are getting to be a big girl. Can I push the cart, Mommy? Oh, I don't know. I think the cart is still a bit big for you, Caillou. Please? Okay, but be careful. Caillou was determined to show everyone that he was a big boy. Yeah. 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 It's okay, Caillou. It's not your fault. These displays aren't made for little guys like you. No, Rosie. I'm putting it away. Rosie, too. No. <laughs> I think you're a tired girl. Time for your nap. Rosie, nap. Rosie, grow bigger. This made Caillou think about what Daddy had said earlier. He needed plenty of sleep to grow bigger. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> it's too bright. No fair, Gilbert. You can sleep anytime. That was Andre at the door. Caillou had forgotten. He and his friend had made plans to go to the park. Andre, how did you get to be so big? Well, I don't know. My mom says it's because I eat lots of peanut butter. I don't always like being big. Really? Sure. Sometimes I'm too big to do the stuff I want to do. And my pants are always too short. Come on, let's ride on the bouncy elephant. Oh, me first. <laughs> hey, I don't fit on here anymore. You can ride it. Caillou fit just fine on the bouncy elephant. I'm going on the monkey bars. But he was more interested in playing with Andre. Wait for me. I'm getting too big for these. <laughs> I'm not, but do you want to go on the slide instead? Yeah! Are you two having fun? Yeah, but Andre's too big for a lot of stuff. Maybe I like being small. Is it okay if I don't grow big for a little while longer? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have any control over that. But I like you just the way you are. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Wait for me, Andre! Caillou decided being little was okay. He had lots of time to grow bigger. Okay, children, time for Music Circle. Music Circle was one of Caillou's favorite activities. And Clementine was one of Caillou's favorite friends. Clementine, I saved a seat for you. Thanks, Caillou. We've got a special music circle today. We're going to make our own instruments out of things people usually put in their recycling boxes. Great! Wow. Okay! Wonderful, Jeffrey. Oops! Look at my drum! Good idea! A drum? But I made a drum! 
Look, my drum is drumsticks. What a great drum, Caillou. And what did you discover, Clementine? I made a drum too, but look what I can do. Terrific. Clementine, you can tap out a beat for us and we'll add the other instruments one at a time. Caillou wanted to tell Miss Martin that he should lead because playing the drum was his idea. But it was too late. Leo? Good. Jeffrey and Jason? Now Xavier and Caillou. Great playing, everyone. Thank you, Clementine, for getting us started. No fair. Clementine just copied me. The next day, Caillou had forgotten all about Clementine copying his drum. I'm going to build a road on my mountain. Hey, this can be my bulldozer. Good idea. Look, a garage. Can I drive a car in it, Clementine? Sure. You can drive on my road, Leo. Thanks. Maybe later. This one has a garage. Caillou felt a little frustrated. Building the road had been his idea, not Clementine's. She had just copied him. Caillou was looking forward to snack time. Today, everyone was allowed to bring a snack from home. Sorry, no room, Clementine. There's room on that side. My snack is carrots. What's yours, Caillou? Why? Do you want to copy my snack, too? <laughs> that night, Caillou was still upset with Clementine. What's the matter, Caillou? Clementine is a copycat, and I don't like it. A copycat, hmm? Why don't you tell me what she did? First she copied my drum, and then she copied the road I made in the sand. I see. Well, I'm sure she didn't do either to annoy you. Clementine is your friend. Right, Caillou? Yeah, I guess so. Today we're all going to make beautiful birds and you can decorate yours any way you like. Can I sit here, Caillou? Okay. Just don't copy me. I like what you're doing, children. Jeffrey, you're supposed to stick the googly eyes to your bird, <laughs> not to yourself. <laughs> Good idea! What you doing now, Caillou? Nothing! Don't look! Caillou was so proud of his bird, he couldn't wait to show it off. Caillou, your bird is beautiful! I like the tail! I'm going to do that too! But, Clementine, you're being a copycat! Boy, that's a lot of red feathers, Jeffrey. <laughs> Maybe we could put a few on your bird. My goodness! Look at these beautiful wings and tail feathers. Clementine, why don't you tell the class about your bird first? Caillou didn't think it was fair that Clementine got to talk about her bird first. Um, it's a colorful bird. And what gave you the idea to make the feathery wings? 
Caillou gave me the idea. He's good at stuff. He makes the best drums and knows how to build great roads. And his bird made me want to make mine even better. This made Caillou feel proud. Clementine was only copying him because she liked his ideas. Good for you, Caillou. It's wonderful of you to share your creativity with others. Thanks. And thanks, Clementine. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> I think Jeffrey wants to share with others, too. <laughs> From that day on, Caillou didn't mind if Clementine copied him. Knowing how much she liked his ideas made him feel proud. Now what do we need, Mommy? We need some peaches, Caillou. Caillou liked helping Mommy at the grocery store. Peaches, check. Next up, apples. Did somebody say apples? Check it out. I just got in a fantastic bunch of apples today. Fresh from a local farmer. Mmm, I love apples. Me too. And do you know why fresh apples are so good? Because they taste yummy in an apple pie? <laughs> I was going to say because you can make applesauce with them. But I like your answer, too. So, what else is on your list? Wow, those are some fun drawings. Did Mommy draw those? <laughs> no, I did them. Caillou showed Ted some of his drawings of cars and rockets and even one of Gilbert. Would you be interested in drawing a poster for my shop window? Yeah. A poster of what? Hmm, something to celebrate fall. You know, trees and leaves and such. There might even be a big bag of apples in it for you. Really? Uh-huh. And you might even get your picture in the local newspaper. OK, everyone, it's art time. What are you doing, Caillou? Ted from the grocery store wants me to draw a poster. It might even be in the newspaper. Wow! That's a wonderful opportunity, Caillou. We're all very excited for you. So, what are you going to draw? Um, maybe a garden with fruit trees and vegetables and Ted holding up a big red apple. And a bunny? Maybe. Caillou was excited to start his poster. He began by drawing some apple trees. That doesn't look right. They don't look good either. Maybe I'm not such a good drawer. Caillou was feeling frustrated until he noticed someone else's drawings. That's your picture up there, right, Leo? Uh-huh. It's good. Could you draw some apple trees for me? Okay. Now those are great apple trees. But my veggies look like... Squashed pumpkins. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I'm good at drawing. I can draw some carrots for you. And a bunny. Okay. Thanks, Clementine. I like the rabbit. I need to color it in. Caillou noticed Jason was really good at coloring inside the line. Jason, do you want to help me color in my poster? Yeah, okay. Can I help? I'm really good at drawing people. Great, you can draw Ted. Uh, what does Ted look like? He's kind of tall. He likes to smile a lot, and... Oh, yeah, he wears a blue shirt. How's this? It looks exactly like him. Hmm. Something is missing. I know, the sun. Caillou was feeling very proud of the poster. 
It's very good, Caillou. Do I get my apples now? <laughs> I'm sure Ted will give them to you soon enough. Caillou, I really like your poster. You're quite the artist. Thank you. Ted says Caillou is going to have his picture in the newspaper. You must be so excited. Isn't that wonderful, Leo? Yeah, I guess so. Just look at those trees and that cute little bunny. Wonderful. Caillou liked having people say nice things about the poster. But some of those nice things were said because of his friend's work. Here you go, Caillou. A big bag of apples for your terrific poster. You've earned it. Uh, thank you, Ted. Your mom will bring you back tomorrow so I can take a photo of you and your masterpiece for the newspaper. Okay? Uh, okay. You must be How so come you proud. didn't say something? <laughs> I helped you with we the poster. And Clementine and Jason and Jeff. I know, but Great. it was supposed to be my poster. Is something the matter, Caillou? Yeah, it's the poster. I, um, I didn't do it all by myself. Oh, I see. Did Leo help you? Uh-huh, but I drew the sun. Only Leo drew the trees. And Clementine drew the bunny. Some other kids helped, too. It sounds like you all worked on it as a group. Yeah, I should tell Ted I had some help and then he can let everybody know we made it together. And I know how. Okay, now let's see a big smile. Say, applesauce. Applesauce! Thanks for inviting us to be in the picture, Caillou. We all worked on the poster, so we should all be in the picture. I can't believe we're going to be in the newspaper. Cool! Yippee! Mmm, these are delicious. Now, let's just get one more photo. That day, Caillou learned how to give credit where it was due. And sharing the photo with his friends felt wonderful. Today was a big day at Caillou's house. Daddy was making a new playhouse for Caillou and Rosie. And it was almost finished. Lemonade, Daddy. Phew. Thanks, you two. I wish I could help. Ah. Believe me, bringing lemonade is a huge help. Besides, you're going to decorate the house. Hi, Caillou. Wow, it looks almost done. It is almost done. All it needs are Caillou's finishing touches. I get to paint it however I want and put furniture inside. Do you want curtains? I bet you could have my old ones. And can I help you paint? I have my own brushes and everything. <laughs> okay. Yay! I'll get my brushes and the curtains. This is going to be fun. And it was fun. Caillou and Sarah worked very hard on the playhouse. They cleaned it. <clears throat> They painted a garden on the side wall. They even put up Sarah's curtains, thanks to Daddy's old curtain rod. Then Sarah thought of one more thing for the playhouse. It's a telephone. I made it with my mom last year. Does it really work? Uh-huh, as long as you keep the string tight. Let's try it. I'll go inside the playhouse and you can phone me. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. <gasps> I can hear 
you. Can I come in? <laughs> of course. That was great. Let's make everyone phone before they come in. <laughs> okay, but who's everyone? I have an idea. Come on. Mm -mm. Rosie, do it. Mommy, can we invite Clementine and Leo to a playhouse party? That sounds like fun. As long as Rosie's invited, too. Party! Yay! <laughs> you can have it on Saturday. Daddy might even help you make blueberry muffins for everyone. Yum! I love blueberry muffins. Thanks, Mommy. Did I fill it too much? No, that's just right. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just a moment, I'll get Caillou. Sarah has something to tell you. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. I'm sick with a cold. My mom says I can't come over to play until I get better. Because I might make you sick, too. Oh, no! Yeah. It's too bad about our playhouse party. I know. We'll really miss you. You mean you'll still have it? Sure. I'm not sick, and we're already making muffins. Oh. Well, go ahead, then. Have fun without me. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. What did Sarah say about the party? She said, have fun. Really? Well, that's nice of her. I thought you might want to put off the party until she's better, but it sounds like she doesn't mind. But Caillou wasn't so sure. Did Sarah mind? Uh, ring, ring. Hi, it's Clementine. Come in. I like your play phone. Thanks. Sarah helped me make it. I like the painted garden. Thanks. Sarah and I painted it together. It sounds like Sarah helped a lot. How come she's not here? She's sick today, but she really wanted to come. Hello, lunch delivery. Here you go. Sandwiches, fruit, and... Wolfberry muffins! Mmm. I love blueberry muffins. So does Sarah. Is everything all right? I wish Sarah were here. Maybe she's all better now. I don't think so, honey. Maybe I should have waited to have the party until Sarah was better. Would you like me to take Sarah some muffins? Yes, please. Mommy, could you take something else to Sarah too? Sarah, Caillou wanted you to have these. Thank you. He asked me to bring something else, too. We miss you! We miss you! I miss you, too! Thanks for the muffins! <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> it's a good thing we keep lots of extra string around the house. Hey! When you're better, can you make a phone for me? And me too? <laughs> sure! Sarah was a very good friend. Caillou was glad to let her know this. Even if it meant telling her through a tin can. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>